At the Mansion House, the government's campaign is opened by the Prime Minister, who has a powerful array of church and state to support him on the platform. In the group, you can see the Archbishop of Canterbury with Mr. Montague Norman behind him, as well as Cardinal Hinsley, Mrs. Chamberlain and the Lord Mayor on the left. The Premier dealt with the stiff problems ahead, but had a heartening message to give. The oceans of the world have been swept clear of German shipping. The German fleet, which at the beginning of the war was less than a quarter of our own, has lost by capture, by sinking, and above all by scuttling, 228,000 tons. Germany used her brute force upon unhappy Poland. And today we can see how she is treating the Poles and the Czechs, exploiting their resources, carrying off their food, starving and shooting the people, tearing them and uprooting them from their homes in order to make way for Germans, who in their turn have been forced to leave the lands where they and their families have been settled for generations. And now, it is the turn of Finland to be attacked by that power with whom Germany made an unholy pact and to whom she set the example of aggression. <laughs> Finland today, amidst her snows and her frozen lakes, is fighting against the forces of unscrupulous violence just as we are ourselves. <laughs> Whilst her need calls for our sympathy and our aid. Yeah. And we, at the beginning of this new year, can await the future with unshaken confidence in the strength of our arms and in the righteousness of our cause. The Finns continue to perform 